Hey everybody, welcome to TK and Drinks. I'm your host, TK. This is the Honest Mead Review where I got a bottle of mead here and I'm gonna give you an honest opinion on what I think based on my opinion on trying to get into the BJCP, Beer Judge Certification Program, get my official mead pen, become a certified mead judge. Um, so if you wanna follow my adventures, go ahead and hit me up on all the social media, Facebook, Instagram, uh, hit me up on Gmail, tkmdrinksgmail.com if you got any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to have a meet on the show, or if you want to uh, just send me some general uh, hate mail or anything like that. So today let's get into our one from the friends up at the Ancient Fire Meadery up there. We got the Sugar Wood. This is a honey and maple uh, mead. I believe it was aged in bourbon barrels with vanilla beans in there as well, a whole mess of them, uh, I would imagine. Uh, I did try this one already, so this won't be a fresh uh, review, but we can certainly at least get the uh, slow pour per our usual standard for the show. Um, ah, so good. I'm really excited to get into this one for you. All right, got that slow pour done. Those are always fun to do, even if they don't turn out. Um, quick look at the uh, visuals of this definitely got this nice dark golden color going on to it if I were gonna say I would call that a uh, probably a light amber color with certainly a little gold leaning to it looks like a nice almost like an apple juice color to it um, but there's probably hints of orange in there as well imagine that's from the maple syrup and the, the vanilla beans but we get uh, some legs going on there. Should be able to see those nice and uh, nice and pretty like. Definitely very lady. Lots of residual sugar. Um, like I was saying, had to pop this bottle open early, um, give it a little taste for something else. But uh, I think we're still going to give it a solid review. So I say not nice visuals, no particulates, no floaties in there. Nice strong legs. Um, now this one's barrel aged. Now I would imagine that that meniscus which again if you tilt your glass at an angle and you look just like where the where the mead meets the glass you should be able to pick up like a, a hint of uh, I don't know they say a hint of color some sort of browning or or um, like reddening of it like rusting almost like a like oxidization color but this looks nice and clear I'm trying to look at it and, and completely uh, man I'm looking at I got all sorts of black, I got white, I got silver, I got blue to choose from, and it looks definitely clear beyond all my all my backgrounds. So I don't uh I don't know. So let's give it a uh give it a quick smell there. Very whoo man, very heavy on that bourbon up front. Um Definitely get some super sweet in the back there. Definitely some uh, vanilla. <clears throat> get that vanilla in the back for sure. Nice heavy bourbon up front. Um, I don't get a lot of maple in there. It might be getting lost in the uh, whole bourbony presence, or it might just have become so complexly blended together that it's uh, that it's hard for me to pick up. But definitely uh, getting super sweet notes in there, mixed in with all the other uh, bourbony and vanilla and oaky tones. So down the old hatch. Mm, yeah, honey and maple character hit you sweet. <laughs> honey and maple character hit you straight away at the beginning. Fades off. Um, Pretty memorable mouthfeel there. About four or five seconds later, fades off to uh, to that bourbony. You get that warming on the tongue. That get that oaking kind of that. Um, well, let's go to our wine flavor wheel here. Um, this is for, supposed to be for aromas, but I think a lot of it translates over into your palate as well. Seeing how um, your nose and your tongue and your mouth and everything all work together, and give you that whole taste. So um, woody oaky they say resinous um let's give it a quick mm. yeah i guess i can kind of see what they would say by resinous in there like tree sap kind of you know maple already has that uh 
even though it's sweeter, you know, you get a nice heavy dark B grade or A grade, whichever it is, a darker, heavier grade in maple syrup. It definitely picks up some of them um, earthier, woody kind of, um, like, well, it is tree sap, so it's going to have that resinous type of taste to it. And this has aroma. I can certainly see that being in that um, character profile and the aroma and in the flavor profile. So definitely going to stick with that. Uh, so we use the word resinous in there. So tree sappy resinous in the aroma. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a little bit of pungentness to it in that in that effect too. But it's good. It balances really well against the um, the sweetness of the honey which you get and the maple syrup that has been um, sweetened from that honey. So you get the sweeter characters of the maple syrup. You get that little bit of that zap from the. Uh, from the bourbon barrel there. I mean, it all plays so well together. And uh, holy cow, I'm very impressed. I don't wanna say holy cow like it's the first time I have it, but uh, holy cow, that is delicious. So let me head over to the scorecard real quick. 40 out of 50 on the score sheet there. These cats from Ancient Fire know how to deliver. My man Jason up there and Margo and all the cats definitely produce a solid, solid product. Uh, I get an eight out of 10 on the bouquet and aroma has a wonderful bourbon-y smell, gets the um, hints of the sweetness. I think I could use a little more maple presence in there, but not really knowing what I'm looking for, I kind of get lost. But um, for me personally, a little stronger in the maple there. Uh, appearance is great, brilliant clarity, nice deep uh, saturation to the colors in there, that goldenish amber hue color uh, to it. No, uh, no carbonation, uh, nice strong legs uh, when we could see those there in the camera. Flavor is again strong on the maple and the honey up front. I uh, would definitely call it a memorable mouthfeel. Again, five, six seconds on there. And uh, it's, uh, you know, then fading away to that sweet, sweet bourbony, oaky type of finish there on the end. Warming, nice balance of the acid and the tannin so it doesn't necessarily feel all uh, super sweet in your mouth. It does balance away so it doesn't leave your tongue uh, coated and all sticky or anything like that because there's a lot of syrupy goodness in this thing uh, at least flavor wise um, so again eight out of, uh, 18 out of 24 on that and then an 8 out of 10 on the on the uh, overall impression uh, again I, I could definitely use more of the maple all around again for me personally but not um, being incredibly well first for that I don't know exactly 100% what I'm looking for but this is the best maple that I've had I had a, <coughs> I've had a handful of others with maple in them and they did not nearly slap like this one does so again kudos to you guys for that much love right there um, so yeah definitely scoop up a bottle of the sugar wood if you're a maple fan if you're a bourbon barrel age fan if you're an ancient fire fan do all those things if you're not and you want to become one of those things because I guarantee you will be after you try this uh, hit up that ancient fire website buy a bottle online hit them up there in uh, New Hampshire and you know <laughs> Do yourself a favor, trust me. So thanks for being here on the review today. I will see y'all next time.